Okay, elevation. Elevation is something we're all gonna deal with. Why? Because we're all gonna deal with swelling. Dun, dun, dun. Broken Ankle 101 series. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about elevation. Um, there's a couple things that I learned about elevation um, that I learned later in the game, I guess you could say. I think it was actually, an, it wasn't until my third surgery. So I'm going to share that with you guys today. But before I jump into that, if you've seen this series, you know that I'm not a doctor. I'm just sharing my experience over my um, ankle injury and um, the last couple surgeries. So just talk to your medical professionals if you um, if you have any serious questions. All right, elevation. Swelling's a constant battle, and um, it's it's gonna be a constant battle through your recovery. And I mean, heck, I'm five years old, and I still deal with swelling. So, um, yeah, not fun. But um, but why do we elevate? We elevate for blood flow. We want the blood flow to go to our injured area, back to our heart injured area, heart, heart, injured area. You get the point. And if you think about it, obviously with gravity, when we're walking, sitting, running, standing up, anything besides laying down with our foot up, we are fighting that gravity and our blood has to work harder to get the blood, to get the, the blood down to our feet and then back up, it's fighting that gravity. So what we do is we help our heart out a little bit by uh, giving, by laying down and putting our foot up and then that way the blood gets to flow um, easier to our heart. As your doctors may advise you like mine did, keep that injured area, your foot, your ankle, eight to 12 to 10 inches above your heart. So um, when you're laying on the couch elevating, make sure that that ankle area is above your where your heart is. Now, once you get your foot up, um, you know, at a good elevate, elevation and you've got ice on it, you're situated, many of us just don't just sit there. You know, we're reading a book, we're on our cell phones, or, our, you know, we're working from our laptops, um, watching Netflix, maybe some of you are gamers. So, you kind of prop your head up on the other side to watch TV. Now, I didn't really take that into consideration during my first and second surgeries. I propped my head up. So if you can imagine, um, like this image right here, you're now at a U shape. And so your heart, you know, when you prop that head up, your your heart, um, your chest area is naturally going up with it. And so now I didn't compensate for that I was putting my head up. I didn't raise my ankle any higher. So make sure that you take that into consideration. Um, when I finally, you know, talked to my physical therapist and learned that during that my third ankle surgery, I made it a point to take the pillows away from my head and just lay there with my head flat um, so that um, every once in a while so that I knew I was getting good, um, you know, elevation for my foot. They also say to not have your leg at a straight, you know, in a straight line to give it a little bit of a bend. So you don't want it at a 90 degree angle, but you don't want a straight line. Like a 45 degree angle is, um, keeps your muscles relaxed. You know, you don't want your muscles contracted. Um, it keeps your muscles relaxed um, to help with, you know, get a good blood flow to that area. The second thing I want to talk to you about isn't so much elevation, it's pillows. Stack them up as, as high as they'll go, right? Pillows are, I think when we get home, we just, you know, grab and all the pillows we can and uh, start stacking them up uh, to get that ankle to as high as we can. Now, there is pillows um, specifically for elevating. Um, you can buy a specific elevation pillow, which is awesome. I, that's phenomenal, they've made them. Just jump on Amazon and you can find them. During my third ankle surgery, I, was, I had learned about these and I'm like, I'm ordering one, I don't care. And I jumped online and the one I wanted to order was $76. Yeah, I was so close to ordering one until I saw somebody had posted a picture and their husband had come up with this little thing. He had put a cardboard box um, on the couch and they had put a pillow on top of it and it worked perfect. Well, I happened to be um, going through some stuff in a Rubbermaid uh, storage container 
Pretty sure you guys know what a Rubbermaid bin is, but just in case, you know what I'm talking about, the ones. Some have latches, some don't. They store a bunch of stuff. Nice and hard and sturdy. And I was like, why wouldn't this work? This would work perfect. Plus, it's, I feel like it's a little more sturdier than a cardboard box. So I put it on the couch. I put a pillow on it, and it worked perfect. Um, so I ended up saving myself $76 and um, was able to use the Rubbermaid storage bin. Plus, um, I was kind of able to um, double up or, or use the purpose of the bin, which is storing stuff. And, you know, we all get those the pile of stuff around us, you know, the ace bandages or the gauze or maybe it's your pain meds or, um, you know, the extra ice packs, whatever it might be. I was able to take my little junk pile and I put it all in this, the storage bin um, and it just kept my area a little more tidy too. So um, I threw a blanket over my bin just so it looked nicer, I guess. And um, But it was really sturdy and I kept a, um, a pillow right on top, almost kind of coming down the side too. And um, it was really comfortable. So I just wanted to share that little tip that a Rubbermaid storage bin worked great for me and helped me save uh, 70 plus dollars. So, okay guys, I think that's all I've got for you guys. I almost forgot. As my nephew always tells me, auntie, you've got to remember to tell people to like and subscribe your videos, or as he says, smash that like button. <laughs> if you haven't checked out the rest of the Broken Ankle 101 series, it's a series of videos that I do um, sharing my experience of the last five years going through an ankle um, injury and three surgeries and recoveries. So um, I share tips or suggestions, recommendations on products that I've used or um, little key things that have helped me get through this injury. It just helps people um, who are going through this injury, gives them a little bit of an idea what to expect in the upcoming days through their recovery. So if you haven't checked it out, you can search YouTube for Broken Ankle 101, or you can just check out my YouTube channel. Thanks guys, we'll catch you next time, bye.